Hey guys, it's me, Gaming with Mike. Making another video. And so, yeah. Yeah, I'm tired. Let's get this. Welcome, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for the latest presentation of our NBA basketball. Along with Steve Miller and Mark Kellogg and our sideline reporter, Cody Spurk, this is Kevin Hart. Looking for a different outcome this time around. You're up. Let's go. Time to do my thing. Six to shoot. Outside wood. On the arc. Yes, and it's how I look the assist that time. Coach Scott Brooks of the Thunder has brought great stability to this organization. I feel like to keep it pretty simple with their X's and O's. The Pelicans making a switch here. Curry's checked in. Back to Waiters. But free. Shot is off, and the Orleans will go the other way with it. They're coming into this game off that recent loss to event. Well, they hung in there for a long time in that game, just giving themselves a chance to win at the end. Uh, but when it mattered most, they stumbled. Yeah, those are the hardest losses to stumble, guys. I mean, when you play well throughout the game and then get derailed by a few missed opportunities down the stretch, that's painful. On this team, that's good. And Scott Brooks, even when the Thunder were really a young team, was pretty open to getting input from his players and they liked it. Yeah, I, I agree with you. It's a collaborative style. What's a credit to Scott Brooks is that he's secure enough with himself to allow his players to have an input. He's able to engage with his players and keep them invested. It's not easy for coaches to do when you expect them to always be in control of that. He's got some great team leaders, too, so it's a nice fit for that collaborative style. Now it's ended over to Doris Burke, who was able to talk with Scott Brooks. Going into this game and scouting the opposition, he's a huge fan of Drew Holiday, saying, you know, Drew's still a guy with so much potential. You just don't see that many point guards in this kind of range. Six foot four, close to two bills, and a great skill set to match. He's a guy you love to watch, but you often hate to go up against. Kevin, we'll see if he can have a big impact in this one. Thanks, Doris. To the right wing. Curry, here we go. How do you miss that? So far on the boards for this club. Boy, I like the way they've done a great job carving out space under the basket when the shots have gone up. Kicks it to Augustine. Now here's Waiters. Nine point game is left out in. Trying to find Augustine. Gets it to him. He got an advantage there off the bench and took it right in. That's their third straight make off of the assist. Boy, the ball movement's been fantastic here in the last few possessions. Curry attacking. That's the go. Curry's got his second best. Here is Durant. A 24 point outing in the last game against Orlando. And Kevin, don't forget about his playmaking in that game as well. It's wonderful in terms of attacking the defense and figuring out to shoot and when to find teammates. And a double digit lead on the scoreboard as we have the first quarter play. Thunder leading by 11. On New Orleans, back in a moment. Welcome back, folks. We'll see if we're in store for a more tightly contested quarter as we move here into the second. And for the Thunder here, they've been putting on the show, guys. Uh, 
almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. You know, Steve, a lot of teams look at this Thunder franchise as a mark. You know, a lot of people go about building a team that can compete for a title through the, through the NBA crowd. Well, it's a good model to follow, but you need some luck. Yeah, but I mean, it, Kevin Durant fell into the last. If they don't get the second pick in the lottery and, and Greg Oden doesn't go first to Portland, none of this happens. So, yeah, great planning, and they've, they've had a terrific uh, effort to put all this together. But it really comes back to getting Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook, and Curl in shooting mode. Coming in is out there with Tyree Edwards, Chris Davis, and it's Holiday in the point. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. Here's Waiters. Here's Cancer. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Let's see some of the numbers here on Anthony Davis. This is the kind of play they love to see from him. He's just controlling things out there. He's right around 21 points a night, nine rebounds, and that's the two blocks as well. He really brings that offensive firepower to this team. Finding ways to score is his specialty. Yeah, that's his identity, Steve. Among other things, obviously, but the ability to make plays and put up points, that's a major weapon in his arsenal. DJ Augustine's checked in for Russell Westbrook. You know, going back to touch again on the Thunder, really you couldn't have asked for a better scenario for a small market team to put together a roster like this. I mean, your four pieces, your cornerstone pieces. Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook, Serge and Bacchus, are all relatively young in their careers and seem to enjoy playing for each other, so they're going to be good for a long time. Now, we had an 18 point outing in the last game against Atlanta. Did a great job picking the defensive part, too. It wasn't just his score. He gave credit for his passing. Oh, my God. Guy. What? Well, they did have to deal with some small market repercussions that the Thunder was talking about. You know, they, they couldn't afford to pay James Harden. They had to make that trade. But I think they dealt with it really well. They've added some nice pieces. The Thunder, obviously, still one of the elite teams in the NBA. Yeah, he got whacked. There shouldn't be much debate on that one. Yeah, that was a straightforward end of the catch, guys. We're getting more and more physical as this game has gone along, clearly. And they've got a lot of trips to the line because of it here in the second quarter. And Lodo Obaga with his first shot attempt. And Oklahoma City again with the bucket. They've got to continue to put pressure on the defense by probing inside. That's what's really working for them. And when you're doing the job they are inside, it takes pressure off the perimeter guys. Curry shot is off. This hasn't been a very good day for him, guys. They need him to start burying some of those. This is the Waiters. Pass to Ibaka. Back to Waiters. Puts up a three. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Well, it looks like he's cooled down a bit after hitting those two in the first four. Here's Curry. Let's it go from the baseline and nails it. Curry's got seven. Recognizing the mismatch that he had and uh, immediately cashing in with that mid range jumper. Evans against Waiters. 